Hello everybody, welcome to Daily Entomologist, and today is the grand unveiling of my revamped insect collection, and we're doing a full collection tour. Alright, so before uh, we head in and show you, I uh, took a video a while ago of like the before uh, uh, the before footage of what my collection looks like. So I'm gonna put that in here now so we can take a look at what it looks like and then we'll do the then we'll uh, get in there and take a look at what it looks like now. All right, that was a mess, wasn't it? Now, walk in here and we'll take a look at the brand new insect collection. Voila, ain't she gorgeous? A uh, huge, huge, huge improvement over what it was. It's cleaned up, it's organized, it looks nice. I, I'm i really, really happy with how it turned out and that all the effort I put into it the past couple months really, really paid off. Um, so, all the sterilite containers here are all in drawers and all that type of stuff. Everything in these boxes up here is stuff that either need labels or projects I'm working on, so I'm going to be constantly taking those in and out. So I did not put the need to put those in any drawers. Um, I'm only using those now for stuff that need labels that I collect this year so definitely temporary and when I get labels on them they'll be put into drawers and yeah it just looks looks really nice I'm really happy with it um yeah it looks so clean and organized there's really not much more to do actually So, like, these ones are all sorted by order, so, but I'll go, I'll go all into this stuff when I do the, go through the full collection tour. Um, so, I'm really, really happy with it. And now it's kind of the standard I want to keep in what my collection looks like. Because now, like, they're there, and then I'll put another uh, cabinet here. So kind of like, kind of like that, and then each one will have a cabinet stacked on top of it. So I'll be able to put this whole, this whole section right here is going to be all cabinets and drawers. So that'll be... That'll be fantastic. Um, yeah, so I guess now the main, now that the unveiling has been a thing, we we'll go ahead uh, do the uh, collection tour. I'm gonna start with the stuff and the boxes and that's not in the drawers. Go through that, um, then I'll go through the all the drawers and try and get through it as quick as possible. 
So this is the new collection. And now for the full collection tour. All right, so first part of the collection we're gonna go through are everything that's not in the drawers. Um, so we're gonna start over here. Um, a lot of these boxes are is uh, stuff that I'm currently working on. So here I just got a bunch of ants. So nothing too showy in these boxes. Got another uh, box of ants here. And uh, these ants I'm currently going through and getting label, new labels on them so they'll eventually look like that and then I'll eventually get to uh, IDing them. These are uh, more ants. And ants. And ants. And ants. These ones I I've started to uh, get down to uh, genus level before I go further than that. Um, more ants right here. And more ants right here. So, in case you didn't realize, uh, ants are going to be a big part of my uh, collection. Um, these are just some flies. Um, I haven't got labels yet. I have the data there. I just need to make labels for them. And I got a couple boxes of mosquitoes that I need to go through and identify as well as give more new labels. There's a row, a row of ants in there as well. But uh, mosquitoes is another group I plan to make a big part of my collection. Um, some ants in here too it looks like. Uh, so yeah. Get those. Um. I got this box here. Mostly beetles and some wasps. Nothing too exciting in there. Um, we got these uh, three containers here. And these are just stuff that I haven't, that I collected and pinned out this year that I have not put labels on yet. Got some nice butterflies in here. Really nice gulf fritter right there. Um, stuff I collected last year that I finally pinned earlier this year. Uh, Florida material there. Just some other random uh, locations. Got Texas, Wisconsin, Florida all in there. Boxes, got some more Florida. 
Colorado, etc. Um, then over here, these are other stuff that uh, I have not put labels on yet. Uh, a bunch of flies there, some small stuff. Got some beautiful tiger beetles there. That I collected earlier this spring. Got some nice grasshoppers, some small beetles there. Uh, more stuff from this year. Beautiful Indra Swallowtail. Uh, beetles, ants, butterflies, grasshoppers. Got some Texas stuff right there. A beautiful uh, red bordered Pitsy butterfly collected down in Brownsville. Um, here got a case of velvet ants because I'm work currently working on them right now. And uh, come on, there we go. Got a case of robber flies. Because these are two groups I, I really want to start working on. So these are other another groups that I really want a big part of my collection to be. Then uh, these ones are stuff I recently took off the spreading boards and drying boards and stuff that you've seen in my previous videos. And they took up a lot of space, so I decided to just put them in here temporarily until I got their labels made and everything. So we got lots of beautiful butterflies. Some smaller stuff. Bees, wasps, flies. Some black lighting stuff, if you remember that. Beautiful grasshopper there. Stuff I collected in the yard. Some beautiful, beautiful stuff. Some ant lines there. And yeah. So that's pretty much everything that isn't in the drawers. And uh, so I'll go ahead and put all this stuff away now. Then we'll get back to uh, the bulk of the collection there. All right, so I got everything back where it was so now we're gonna start those drawers and just work our way over um, so if you remember in the, like, the flashback section like all the Sterilite containers and stuff everything in those ones are in these ones with the sticky notes and I have them uh, sorted by uh, orders. So these first uh, sits here are Hymenoptera, I got Diptera, Hemiptera, Orthoptera, Odonata, uh, Lepidoptera, Coleoptera, and uh, other random orders, and then just kind of kind of randomness in the rest of the drawers. So I apologize for the really terrible lighting, but. I don't have a light in my room besides the lamp I usually use. 
So here is a Hymenoptera drawer one. Some uh, got some cicada killer there, some carpenter bees, some other large bees. Some interesting stuff right there. But nothing too showy there. More mostly smaller stuff. Uh, we got a larger section here. We got some uh, spider uh, spider wasps there. Uh, I forgot which genus they're in, but they're not in the genus Pepsis. They're in a different genus. Um, we got some pelicinid wasps right there. Beautiful uh, species. The other uh, larger wasps, some bees, got some patilithrix, bombiformis, and some other larger stuff there. Some other random stuff here. Got quite a few Melisodes up in this drawer. Uh, a lot of uh, Melisodes by Maculatus. These uh, black, the black uh, species there. That's some other various Mel Melisodes. Once again, you can see a lot of specimens in this drawer have their new labels. And you can see the size difference between my old ones and the new ones I use. So eventually all this stuff will eventually get labels like those size. But uh, this drawer here got a, this is a Pepsis a tarantula hawk. I got it from uh, Tet Culleted in uh, Texas. Uh, mostly just smaller stuff again some bubble bees just various bees wasps and stuff Same thing in this drawer nothing too exciting And here we have the Last, uh, <coughs> excuse me, last time in Optera drawer. Once again, mostly just nothing too exciting to see. Uh, uh, Diptera. Got mosquitoes down here. Uh, got some bee flies. Got some beautiful technid wasps right there. Some nice uh, surfed flies, some large tabanids. Some more really beautiful technid flies. Yeah, 
here we got uh, the first Hemiptera drawer. So these are all the true bargs. Uh, got a lot of uh, plant hoppers and tree hoppers and leaf hoppers. Got a nice uh, wheel bug right there. Some nice uh, water bugs. Giant water bug right there, a water scorpion. Um, we got a, uh, I wish my room had much better lighting. Got a group of cicadas there. I kind of wish I had more cicadas. Um, this is the second Hemiptera drawer. Nothing too exciting in here. A couple of smaller cicada species. Um, so now we're onto the Orthoptera drawers. These are ones I want to sort through relatively soon and get in their uh, unit trays and identified. We have some De Sostera Carolina up there. Um, various Arpheus species. Some nice band winged. Got some uh, Melanopolis Bivitatus right there. Some other Melanopolis species. Some Katydids. Um, got some beautiful bird grasshoppers. Really large size right there. Some beautiful colors. Um, this is drawer number two. Got some Mormon crickets. Some more random grasshoppers. Got a couple of Eastern lubber grasshoppers in here. Got some more bandwing species. I got some uh, good stuff there. Um, Odonata. These are all the pin specimens. So for dragonflies and damselflies now, I, as you've seen in like past, I've done videos in the past. I now use uh, Houslam and um, envelope type stuff, so that I don't put pins through them anymore. So these are like all the ones that I've pinned in the past. Um, so I just have them in here until I get them all sorted and um, new labels and everything. But we got I got some. Uh, Really nice species. They got a really nice uh, Prince Basket Tail right there. Some uh, Halloween pennants. Various skimmers. I uh, got a couple of calico pennants up there. Darners, damselflies, emeralds. So, yeah. Some club tails as well. So those are the, that's the what is not a drawer. On to the second cabinet here. I uh, got a four drawers of leps. Let's 
So we got a lot of maws in this one. Really nice uh, white underwing moth right there. Got uh, butterflies. Got some goatweed leaf wings right there. Various nymphalids, fritillaries, check, uh, checker spots. Um, got a white admiral, red spotted purple, white Myers admiral. Um, so it has some pretty cool stuff in there. Got a lot of small moths up on top here. And then down here we got some more smaller butterflies, a lot of lycinides, blues, hair streets, checker spots, coppers. Got some beautiful copper species right there. Uh, we got some Califris species, Juniper hair streak, green hair streaks, pine elephants and elephants species and all that type of stuff there. Uh, here we got some small moths down here. Small butterflies. Got some blues. Really beautiful. Polygonia right here. And we have uh, a few different species of, sw of uh, Spay Area Swallowtail, um, uh, Spay Area Fritillaries. This one's particularly beautiful. Oh, I really like that drawer. It has some nice stuff in it. Can't wait till I sort them all out and get them in their species. And uh, just the last drawer of mostly moths. A lot of these have uh, a lot of these have uh, identified two species, so it's basically just putting new labels and put them in their trays. Uh, some gem satters right here. Um, onto the coleoptera. Um, got a nice uh, rainbow scarab right there. I got some large beetles in here. Got some ground beetles, some scarabs, a nice giant stag beetle right there. Eyed click beetle. So, a lot of small stuff, but some nice uh, showy species there. The second drawer, uh, we got a, a Cerambicids right here. It's a nice Prionini. Uh, got another nice Rainbow Scarab here. Um, just saw a bunch of other random beetles. Got a nice Necrophorus. Various stuff right there. And then a drawer of random orders. So in here we have uh, like the praying mantids. 
uh, walking sticks. Got some uh, Dobson flies there. Um, leftover grasshoppers. Um, got some snake flies, some mantid flies, owl flies, ant lions. Um, I put a couple uh, giant Newman wasps in here as well because they're large and fragile. Got some scorpion flies and uh, the, some cockroaches there. So this is pretty much where all the odd stuff goes or where I put all the odd stuff at least. But these two will eventually get their stuff all figured out. Um, now it just starts the drawers of random stuff. Um, here we got a couple uh, trays of uh, leaf-footed bugs and various hem uh, hemipterans, stink bugs as well. So these all are going to be getting uh, labels and ID'd and all that type of stuff. I got a couple things there. Um, here got some buprestids. It goes on into here, then some ground beetles, and we have some darkling beetles. Some random stuff in there. Um, a lot of this uh, this stuff was like uh, caught in pitfall traps last year. Uh, the carrion beetles there. Um, oh, looks like I found a robber fly in there too. Sweet. Okay. Um, so. Good stuff in there. Uh, here, um, some trays of, uh, vespids. So mason wasps. Paper wasps, hornets, yellow jackets, etc. All that. Then uh, some more stuff here that I do not have, uh, have not made labels for yet. Um, another drawer here for stuff that needs I haven't made labels yet collected this year got some pitfall trap stuff here uh, black lighting right here that was a good night um, some other stuff here Just some, uh, got some skippers there, and then empty uh, drawer there. All right, just a little bit more to go. So in here, it looks like we have. Uh, Various beetles. Obviously not sorted. Um, here we do have some uh, beetles that have been sorted, it looks like. So all these have been identified uh, species. I just need to get them in there. Uh, transfer them to the drawers and unit trays and stuff. Got tiger beetles there. And here we have some more. So we got uh, various pentatom uh, pentamonides or 
stink bugs. Um, I need to uh, species as well, so that's nice. Some hoppers, uh, some uh, really nice hymenopter over here. A nice cicada killer. Some nice uh, scolids. Uh, it looks like these are some. Some of those are identified as well. Uh, let's see. Here we got some beetles that have been ID'd. Some random stuff here. Looks like a lot of these have been ID'd. Um, got some more polygonia. Oh, got a drawer here. Got some viceroys. Uh, common buckeye. Morning cloak. We got some silk moths. We got some cropia there. Luna. Polyphemus. Luna moth there. Prometheus moth. So that's a nice, large, beautiful species in here. We got a uh, drawer of butterflies. Uh, and these all look like they have labels on them, so these are all ready to be sorted, identified, and put away into uh, their respective species. Looks like we got some uh, fantastic stuff in here as well. Some nice Parnassians. Yellows, etc. Uh, bees, some wasps. And here we got uh, some sweat bees, Idita species, some autochlora, agrochlorella, agapostamin. So that's nice there, and just some random non-sorted hymenopterans there. So we got some, uh, some nice, uh, nice some sweat bees here. Um, another lepidopteran drawer. Oh, I got a couple of cicadas there. Titan Sphinx. Uh, butterfly needs gluing. Uh, some moths from black lighting last year that I need to relax and spread out. Some other smaller moths right there. Some other butterflies. Uh, so we got another uh, grasshopper drawer here. Got really nice specimens in here. Got a thing of pygmy grasshoppers there. more bird grasshoppers, some Melanopolis, etc. Uh, here, looks like we got beetles. Ooh, this one, this uh, top needs some uh, washing. 
Various beetles, nothing too exciting to look at, but a lot of them have been ID'd at least. Got any of beautiful dog brain beetles there. And all of these need some new labels. Probably an Aethus Pennsylvanicus from Wisconsin. Uh, here, some more, uh, we got some underwing moths, catacola species. Uh, a couple of Parnassians here. We got a lot of stuff just spread out. Some copper underwings there. Things there. Some small moth species and a couple thingies of random beetles. And some Vespids as well. And these all have new these these ones all have their new labels, so that's nice. I really love Catacola, they're they're a fantastic genus. And this one just some more random beetles. Got some nice size diving beetles up there, a couple I had to click beetles. Um, nothing terribly exciting in there. And then now, last but not least, the last cabinet. Uh, here, drawer of uh, bumblebees. All identified labels and everything. Um, so next, I just have to get all these in their individual species trays, and then they'll be, they'll be set to go. I really like bumblebees. So uh, here we got some uh, cerebicids. Got some Prionis, Orthosoma, Maladon. Megasamine Decora. I really like that species. It's a beautiful species there. Smaller stuff. Some beautiful cottonwood borers. Some Oberia species. I got one, two, three, four species here identified of Oberia. And uh, unfortunately, I only have two species of Tetraropes, which are the milkweed and longhorn beetles. I have a uh, Tetrothalamus and Femoralis. Um, I think, though, I did recently just collect some Annularis, so maybe I might be up to three species, but though that's definitely a genus I really want to expand species wise. Um, got some uh, skippers in here. All identified. Got some silver spotted, hoary skippers, some long tail skippers. Just a little Right there. Um, one of the swallowtail drawers. All identified with labels and the stuff. I see. I, I showed. I showed. I showed some of these drawers in past videos. Um, skippers here all set in their individual trays. So these ones are actually all finished. Obviously, 
I'll be here anymore as I get more specimens and species and make sure they're organized with their genus and all that type of stuff. But as of right now, this drawer is all finished. Um, here we got the sphingids. Some beautiful, beautiful species. Definitely a favorite gene, a uh, favorite family of mine. Sphingids are just awesome. Uh, other swallowtail drawer. These are the tiger swallowtails. Canadensis, Glaucus, Multicarata, Rudolus. So beautiful species there. A drawer of whites. Now some beautiful orange tips. <coughs> Excuse me. Some Pontia species, checkered, spring. White, Western White, uh, Pyrus, Mustard White, uh, Cabbage White, E. Chloe, uh, Marbles. So I got some good stuff in there. And this one should be the uh, yep, uh, drawer of sulfurs and yellows. Beautiful sleepy oranges right there. So that's some fantastic stuff in there. Uh, okay, another drawer of some grasshopper species with their new labels and ID to species. So this is like this this is a, a start of Sorting my grasshoppers. Got lubbers there. Uh, Xanthippus, Coralopes, Arphia conspersa, Desostera carolina. Um, and these last two drawers here are ants. These have all been labeled, data based. Um, and ID to species. Um, so this is eventually what a lot my what my ants collection is going to look like. Really nice, organized, database, all that type of stuff. So these are all ID'd, all finished. Can't wait till I get more drawers that look like nice and organized like this. That's what I strive for the rest of my collection to look like eventually. Got uh, some last use in here: Pagonal Miramix, Campanotus, Formica, Miramica. Some really nice species in here. I got a Neopanera Velosa. I got stunned by one of these down in. Texas, son of a bitch is hurt. And uh, yeah, nice, some nice uh, curated drawers here to end uh, the full collection uh, tour. So I really hope you enjoy. Kind of rush through it, so the video isn't hours long. But I think that hopefully that gave you a good overview of kind of what I have in my collection and what I'm, the plans I'm doing and stuff. So the new collection, fantastic, looks great, organized. I know where everything is now. Um, so I really hope you enjoyed. I'm really, really happy with how it looks now. I'm really glad I put in the effort to uh, upgrade and revamp my collection. So comment, like, subscribe. Um, if 
you did, if you saw a group in here that you want to see more of in future videos or want me to do more uh, look closely in the next video or two or something that you're interested in just let me know um, so hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time